Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and God, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Scorpios, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit. All right, so we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and the Nine of Swords. We have There's a Distraction and Five of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Two of Swords. So Scorpio, I feel like someone here has a major fear of commitment. So what they do is they get distracted very easily by um, temptation. And it's easier for them to do this because what happens is, is it causes blockages. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, it gives them choices. It gives them options. This person doesn't want to choose just one person. They don't want to make a final decision just yet. They don't know who to choose. There's so many fish in the, sh the sea. Why only settle for one, right? So this person's non-committal. There's just a lot of, a lot of distraction, a lot of temptation. Um, we've got the eight of swords. And the Four of Swords, we've got Worried About You, and the Five of Swords, Six of Cups, and Attention is Somewhere Else. So I feel here, Scorpio, that um, someone is really like mentally going through it someone knows that there's someone else in the picture or something going on behind their back um someone here is in a place of needing to heal okay their mind their heart um i feel like the worried about you part isn't um I feel like you're in this energy, like this person has played a lot of mind games with you, Scorpio, or you could have done this to somebody. I don't know. Um, but I feel like someone is falling ill, expecting the other person to be worried about them. But this, this person, this ex, their attention is somewhere else. Okay. Someone here may be feeling very sick um in bed not wanting to move because they're trying to gain the attention of somebody they're trying to get this person to be concerned or worried that is not going to work this person's attention is just elsewhere okay we've got the king of cups scorpionic energy we've got the ten of pentacles we have the hermit virgo energy and the sun Leo energy, Six of Swords, and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I feel like at one point there was love in this connection. I feel like at one point, you know, you guys had plans to make it big. Maybe you're married, this person. There was supposed to be love and finances and goals being achieved. Um, but I feel like someone here withdrew to find their happiness somewhere else. Someone here, you know, there was supposed to be a lot going on in this connection. And then someone just got distracted and then they go and live this out with someone else. You know what I'm saying? They, they just, they find their happiness elsewhere. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And the King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius energy. Yeah, someone's not trusting somebody here. We have someone that is possibly very flirtatious, very sexual, um, someone who needs a lot of attention, and someone's not trusting here. They're not trusting of this person. We've got the star, Aquarian energy, and the knight of 
wands. No, okay, I'm sorry. This is the Knight of Swords and this is the Knight of Wands. Leo Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I feel like, again, there's a lot of plans here. There's supposed to be love, prosperity, like you guys sit down, you guys talk. Yeah, we're a team. We're going to make this work. And then boom, out of nowhere, someone withdraws to go find that happiness somewhere else. Someone here makes quick and impulsive decisions. Like maybe there's a fight. Someone gets in the car and just disappears. You see what I'm saying? Um, with the star and the Knight of Wands, someone here wants to cheat. They want to be free they want to go do whatever they want to do someone here does not want to be tied down ten of swords and the six of pentacles this is going to end because somebody is not giving enough to this connection yeah see we've got death and hierophant death and hierophant someone here may even be going through a divorce Taurus energy scorpionic energy some of you may even be going through a divorce with the ten of swords and the death card oh boy yeah someone's just not giving to this connection someone just doesn't i mean i feel like you guys sit down you talk about it you you know what i'm saying you make these plans that everything's going to be amazing and then you guys come apart and someone goes and they find you know happiness elsewhere king of pentacles and the star aquarian energy nine of swords and the eight of pentacles i feel like this person gives hope like yes we're going to be committed yes we're going to do this yes we're going to do that but when it comes down to working on the connection they have anxiety they get anxiety when it comes down to actually doing the work there's a distraction at the ace of cups five of pentacles and the four of pentacles so this person sees a new shiny cup and they're like oh i want to go drink out of that cup I want to see what that cup tastes like. You see what I'm saying? And they withdraw their promise. They withdraw whatever they were talking about here to go find out what's happening over there. See the judgment card and the fool, the two of swords and the three of cups. Someone here is like, okay, I know what I promised you here, but that cup looks really shiny and I want to go get a taste so then I can compare and make my decision if I really want this with you or if I want this with someone else. You see what I'm saying? Eight of swords and the nine of pentacles. Virgo energy, pre empress energy, ten of cups and the four of swords. I feel like someone's in this energy of, I, you know, I make good money. I know my worth. I know I don't deserve this. Why is this person doing this to me when I am giving them all 10 of my cups? Why is this happening? Worried about you and the lovers. Gemini energy, five of swords and the eight of cups. So I feel like, you know, someone knows here that there's, some, there's other people in the picture. You see what I'm saying? They know that there's other people in the picture. And I feel like someone is trying to grab their person's attention. Okay? They're trying to grab their person's attention. But with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups, if, if someone here starts playing mind games, it actually pushes this person away further. Six of Cups and the Two of Cups, attention is somewhere else and the Hermit. Um, I feel like someone is trying to bring this together, trying to reconcile, but this person's energy, their attention is elsewhere right now. You know what I'm saying? They, they have withdrawn. They're not going to answer. They're not going to talk back. King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. I feel like someone here makes a lot of promises about love about commitment reaching goals let's slay let's go into beast mode we can do this let's be a team and then you know they when it comes time to deliver five of pentacles nothing there the hermit and the nine of swords the sun and the king of pentacles i feel like you know this person they 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 promise commitment or they may appear to be commitment to, to be committed excuse me but it actually gives them anxiety this person gets like massive anxiety so they withdraw they withdraw from what they've promised six of swords and the six of wands the knight of swords and the six of pentacles um this person always it's like they always win there's a sense of like this person constantly getting away with this over and over and over again do you understand over and over and over again they manage to constantly like talk a good game but actually deliver nothing queen of swords and the ten of pentacles with the king of wands and the nine of cups um you know so now one person here is in this energy of okay listen you want to be selfish you want to do you you want to do everything your way that's fine i'm protecting my abundance now someone here is getting nasty they're not sharing finances maybe someone's filing for a divorce and filing for alimony or taking half of every someone's belongings um the star card and the hanged man the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles i feel like um 
in time, someone's going to come and realize that they should heal this because um, they were wrong. Someone here is realizing that they were wrong in the past, that they should heal this. But I think it's because someone here is about to lose financially, honestly. I feel like a connection is coming apart. Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Someone's done, tired, filing for a divorce. Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Someone is tired of empty promises. And look at this. We've got the World and the Ten of Swords under the deck. This is a major ending. Someone here is really tired of empty promises. Just sick of it. Yeah, I feel like someone here is going to try to reconcile. In time, they're going to try to heal this. But it's way too late. It's going to be way too late by then. We've got commitment, we've got back and forth, and we have increase. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like this person, um, if they would have moved forward with you and committed, it could have really led to something amazing. But this person was up and down, back and forth, juggling between people, not sure what they wanted, freaking all over the place. This person was all over the place. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my... Scorpios, please. Messages for my Scorpios, please. So we've got financial constraints. We've got caring connections. And we've got the sun. Someone here is going to wake up to the fact that they have lost the love of their life. They've lost financially. This person's indecision and games are going to cost them a lot. Yeah, this person's really going to regret making this decision clarity guidance love messages clarity guidance love messages for my scorpios we've got deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship we've got new love a new person has started your romantic feelings and very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now scorpio i feel like someone has straight up like fallen in love with someone new or this person is constantly lying because they're looking for new love they're keeping their options open um but this person needs to make a decision. And I feel like by the time they make, a, they, by the time they do what's right, it's going to be too late. That's how I feel. I feel like it's going to be too late. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.